Google Voice, your phone number is more than just 10 digits. It's the main hub of your telephone communications. You get one number that rings all your phones. Transcribed voicemail sent to you via email and text message. Low price international calls. The ability to set up custom voicemail greetings, block unwanted callers, and much more. Sprint customers can now use their Sprint mobile number as their Google Voice number without having to get a new number for free and without additional fees or service disruptions. So now when someone calls your Sprint number, it can also ring your office or your home or even your Gmail account, depending on who's calling or the time of day. And if you already have a Google Voice number, calls made from your Sprint phone can display your Google Voice number automatically. To learn more about enabling Google Voice on your Sprint phone, visit google.com slash voice slash Sprint. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Sprint, Kevin McGinnis. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm glad everybody's here. I appreciate you taking some time out every afternoon to uh, share this with us. We're extremely excited about the opportunity to demonstrate the integration we've done with Google. Um, I do want to take a second and thank Vincent and the team at Google for the fantastic partnership. The engineering team there has done an excellent job. Uh, the integration has been fantastic. They've taught us a lot about agile development as a carrier, and we appreciate that. Um, what I want to highlight is just a few reasons that we think this is an extremely important event for Sprint. Um, first and foremost, it highlights this concept of open that we've talked about for years now. Um, the three major tenets that we talk about when we speak of open are the idea of consumer choice, the idea that customers um, should be in control of their experience, and what better way to demonstrate that than to let customers control the core telephony capabilities, the core messaging capabilities associated um, with their phones. So this is a big opportunity for us to demonstrate the idea of choice. The second one is enablement. Really, it's our opportunity to develop capabilities and services that allow um, service providers like Google to get their services and their content closer to the customers and really not focus on developing our own core features, but really leaning into the third tenant, which is innovation. Who better to demonstrate innovation than our partners out in Mountain View at Google? What I want to talk about now is what this means to Sprint and what this means to a user. So you've heard a lot of the great features. Uh, Vincent did a great job of describing all of the great capabilities, the feature-rich environment that Google Voice offers to consumers today. Now all of those are available to you as the primary interface, the primary experience behind your, your mobile phone. So in the past, consumers have had to choose between a multi-number solution or they had to choose an option to port their number to Google and then go get another wireless number and still have a two-number solution. Today, the number that you've had for years or the number that you choose to integrate with the Google Voice experience is your primary number. So there's no porting fees. There's no ETF, early termination fees. Um, there's no clunky integration or uh, clumsy interface. So what you see here is uh, someone set up a typical Google Voice account. So they're going in to upgrade their account at this point in time. It gives them the option um, to pick a new number, which is the old experience, or use their existing mobile number. So we'll select the, I want to use my existing mobile number. They'll put in their mobile number that they have. And when they do that, it will actually go out to the Sprint systems. The integration that we've done with Google allows us to verify that they're actually an existing Sprint customer. Now you see that the available options to the user have changed dramatically. So instead of just the port in your number option, you now see this, I can use my, my existing Sprint number. So you don't, have to, you don't have to port, don't have to integrate. All you have to do is select this option to move forward. So as you go through and you check for the, <laughs> Checking for number availability again. You go through the setup. So here we go. So now it's doing the integration. Calls to verify your number. So now you go through the process of setting up your account. You enter your PIN for voicemail access. You go ahead and integrate the account. It goes into the Sprint provisioning, provisioning system, sets up the account you've established here on the Google portal, into the Sprint provisioning system, so billing and all that is taken care of. At this point, you now have the number. So you finish the process. 
you have the ability to go back and change those settings that are described above. And as you see now, your Sprint number is the primary number behind your Google Voice account. So now all the features that Vincent talked about, again, are the primary service. So if someone calls your mobile device, the number you've probably had for years, the number that you have some personal attachment to, rather than giving out a new number to individuals, to your coworkers and so on, you have the ability to customize how those calls get routed based on categories you set up for users and, and so on. So it, we, we, we can disable that, that connection if we want to between Google Voice and Sprint, right? Uh, correct. So let me show you how easy that is. Um, I just go up to the settings option, I hit voice settings, and then, um, you know, this page could potentially be listed with multiple forwarding phones and obviously my Google chat client. But right here at the top, it says my Google Voice account number and uh, enabled by Sprint. And I can literally just hit the disable button, and a few moments later, uh, it'll be disassociated with my Sprint account. And uh, how, how long does that take to go through? Uh, probably about 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Or less. Awesome. Well, very cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. When someone calls that mobile phone, you can ring multiple devices. So when I sit in the office now as I'm using the service, I put my phone on the charger, I answer my phone calls all day, I do SMS, I track my voicemails that are transcribed on my PC while I'm working. When someone calls me, I have the ability, based on who it is, to route the call to a specific endpoint, whether it be my PC or whether it be another device, whether it be my home phone, my office phone, and so on. So a great unified communication service for consumers. What we want to do now is give you all the availability to see this firsthand. So we've set up demo stations on each side in the back here. So there's a station on this end and a station on this end where folks will be demonstrating the capabilities, answering questions about the integration, and giving you some examples of some of the exciting use cases that we think this offer has to bring. So thank you very much for your time, and enjoy.